Are you a little bit deeper? Are you a little bit more in touch spiritually? Do you feel drawn to Uranus? If you answer yes to any of these questions, you might be a starseed. What is a starseed, you might be asking? A starseed is somebody whose spirit or soul does not come from the planet Earth, but instead comes from a distant constellation, such as Arcturia, Orion, or the Pleiades. Today, we're going to be learning a little bit more about the star seeds. Being a star seed is basically a new age version of astrology that people are using to feel unique and stuff. Instead of being like, yeah, I'm a little bit deeper, I'm a Libra. They're like, yeah, I'm a little bit deeper, my soul is from Mars. By the way, this is the second channel for the cynical dude where I react to things that are not related to fat acceptance. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. First, this person's gonna teach us what a star seed is. A star seed to me is also termed a wanderer, is a human that has soul connections. So what could be called past lives, but parallel lives. This is the least cohesive statement I've ever heard. In future realities as a higher dimensional being. So this could be an extraterrestrial. Everything that she just said right there contradicted the thing that she said before it. A human, human that has soul connections. So what could soul connections, so what could be called past lives. Could be called past lives, but parallel lives. But parallel lives in future realities. In future realities as a higher dimensional being. As a higher dimensional being. So how much ketamine did you have before this interview. So this could be an extraterrestrial, a collective consciousness, so that you have an incarnation as one of these higher density beings. Right. And you're a starseed from your birth? <laughs> this guy. I love how he's not just laughing his ass off immediately. He's like, oh, you, so this shit is legit, huh? Oh, damn. Oh, snap, son. Okay, uh, what else? You're a starseed from your birth. Yes. It can be genetic but it also can be these other lives that are coming through that you remember. What? How could it be genetic if it's past lives and your spirit and stuff? Make up your mind. Something more and then bring that through to your mission on Earth. What traits pop up for yeah. you to be able to say that person's a star seed? One, sensitivity. I think that that's a huge one. These extrasensory abilities. You said sensitivity. And then you said extrasensory abilities. Those are two very different things. One of them is you cry at a sad movie, and the other one is you can read somebody's mind. <laughs> like, what? Are you sensitive? Well, you might be a starseed who could read people's minds, you know? Same thing, same thing. Crying during a movie, telekinesis, same thing. For me, it's a big need and desire in the people that I see that are starseeds to help and assist Earth and consciousness, particularly at this time. And that cut off abruptly, but apparently starseeds are here to help consciousness and humankind, she said. I want the job of that interviewer guy. He was taking it all seriously. He's like, oh, yeah? For real? Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, dude. That sounds legit, son. <laughs> He's just like... Oh, snap, for real? Now that we know what a starseed is, we're gonna take a look at a clip telling us about some famous rappers who are starseeds. Three rappers that you may not know are starseeds. Firstly, we have the beautiful Mac Miller, who is a Mintakan starseed. Mintakan starseed. The beautiful Mac Miller. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think you might be going a little nutty with these descriptors. I mean, he's all right, I guess. I don't know if I would say he was beautiful. We might be going off the deep end here. Very full of light, very resilient, very heart-led, very high vibrational, almost too much for this earthly plane. Are you sure? No shade, you know, against Mac Miller or anything. God rest his soul, but, uh... You sure? I don't know. He just seemed like a, a rapper to me, like some guy who raps. You're getting a lot from this guy. Mac Miller was the deepest person that's ever been known of on this planet. He was a higher vibrational being. I don't know, man. His music was pretty okay, I guess. I don't know. His soul also took over from another soul, so he's actually a walk-in, which means that- Where the f are you getting any of this from? What kind of crack is this girl smoking, dude? And where can I get some? Because <laughs> it's good. He's a soul walk-in. This is a lot of very specific stuff that you pulled out of your rear end. How about that? 
This just goes to show, don't listen to people just because they seem confident about what they're talking about. She's like, oh yeah, no, for sure. No, this is all for real, dude. This is super legit. <laughs> like, she's very sure. They can have trouble kind of fitting into that incarnation and feeling very connected to it. How would you know that? What is this now? Tyler, the creator? Dude, stop. Tyler, the creator, is indeed a starseed. His main energies what? are Nihal and Syrian. Nihal? And what did you say about the other one? Martokin or something? I've never even heard of these. Nihal is the rainbow, the indigo, the crystal children who come to create change. They're very Tyler, creator, is an indigo child who came here to create change. I don't know, man. I think you're giving a lot of these people a lot of credit. <laughs> They're all pretty cool or whatever, but I don't know, man. They're rebellious. And the Syrian in him gives him this creative energy. The Syrian in him gives him this creative energy. Sure, it's got nothing to do with like his upbringing or something, like his siblings, you know. Maybe he had a couple of siblings that were wacky and it inspired him to be this way or that way. He's sure it's not that, it's because he's from Syria, a star system. J. Cole is Arcturian in Pleiades. The Arcturian <laughs> gives him <a> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Emotional body with this wisdom. And then the Pleiadian gives him this visionary and almost this leadership quality. All right, that one ended abruptly too, but she really has some high opinions about rappers. To me, they're just people making some stupid music for money, you know? Right? <laughs> the beautiful Mac Miller is a higher vibrational beat. <laughs> oh man, God, that's funny as hell. What the hell? I hope Mac Miller can see this from beyond the grave and he's just like, what the hell is this bitch talking about? I was not from the Pleiades, man. I'm from Orion, what the f <laughs> Now we're gonna be learning about a different type of starseed, the Blue Avians, which is some kind of bird-alien hybrid. One of my favorites. Is Blue Avian, I tend to know a lot more about- <laughs> <laughs> Who made these graphics, bro? It's doing this stupid hand gesture thing like, from Star Trek. This is a blue avian. I come in peace. Do not be afraid. <laughs> what? What is this? This is blue avian. I tend to know a lot more about blue avians and avian star seeds because I am one myself. Oh, okay. Look at these hilarious bird pictures in the background. And honestly, homie does kind of look like a bird. So, um, yeah, he's a, he's a blue avian. Um, he said that with a straight face. He's like, so I know a little bit more about blue avians uh, because I am one. And then he just like stared at the camera like for 10 minutes straight after that without blinking. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get into Blue Avian. Why is it so- Yeah, um, where did you get these graphics in the background, you goofball? so hard for them to be here on Earth. But one of the main reasons is they feel very, very ungrounded when they come into this. Bro, hold on. I'm getting distracted by all these pictures in the background. I'm seeing- Is this from Avatar? They feel very, very- and what, who made these graphics? This is like some kind of commander or a general in an Very army grounded. looking type of alien bird hybrid in the background. When they come into this human form because the blue avian. What, what the hell even is this? When they come into this human form because the blue avian vessel is so different from human vessel. And right, so why would you incarnate into a human vessel if you were a blue avian, my friend? They feel like they want to escape their vessel when they incarnate. They feel trapped because their focus is very like laser vision. They're Dude, what is wrong with everybody? Is it this hard to just like have a hobby and develop yourself as a person? Everybody's got to come up with stupid crap like this. Able to focus on things like this, but they're able to pull. Where are you getting any of this from? You pulled all of this out of your rear end. You're like, I'm a blue avian. Why does everybody not want to hang out with me when I start talking about how I'm actually from the Pleiades and I'm part bird? What the hell? All of their energy into one thing sometimes. And that can be really helpful in life, but it, it can also be pretty detrimental in a lot of ways, just... Right, you said a bunch of general stuff that could literally apply to anybody, homie. You know, being functional in the society that we've created today. All right, so that guy was part bird and part alien. He was a bird alien, which doesn't make a lot of sense because I wouldn't think that birds exist in space. Although they might exist on some other planet that also has oxygen and therefore could take advantage of having wings. Now we're gonna take a look at a couple of clips of people speaking light language. What is light language, you might ask? Light language is the preferred method of communication among the starseeds. It's when you channel different languages from the stars. 
So we're going to be unplugging you from the matrix, removing energetic cords, which you can see. Okay, I think that's good. As circuits, and these circuits are keeping you in this exchange of matrix frequencies okay. between yourself and the entire collective grid. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Take it easy. Whoa, slow down, dude. This might be why you feel like you are expanding, you are growing, but there's... I'm expanding, I am growing. Well, I have been eating more. No integration. There is no change in the reality. Oh my God, get it off of me. No, the star seeds do this bizarre thing often where they speak in tongues and do all these weird hand movements and then they say that it was light language or something, which to me doesn't make a whole lot of sense because language is sounds and light is light, you know? Um, so I'm hearing a lot of sounds coming from this light, which doesn't make a lot of sense. You would think that you would see the light language, right? Because it's light and light is a thing that you perceive with your eyes. Uh, I'm hearing light. This is crazy. Is this starseed stuff or did you just give me some LSD? I don't know. I'm hearing light. I'm seeing sound. Sounded like Peter Popoff or Kenneth Copeland. I've heard them speak in tongues as well. Okay, I don't know if this is unplugging me from the Matrix grid system. I didn't know that was part of the Starseed lore. And now we're actually going to be plugging you back into Source. Okay, by doing all this weird gibberish and hand movements? Well, that was easy. Your creator energy. The interesting thing is that a lot of these posts have like 400,000 thumbs up. Um, so that's alarming. They're like, yeah, um, yeah, dude, that actually unplugged my shit right from the matrix, bro. And then um, my whole life turned around. A lot of this new age crap is like trying to take a shortcut to enlightenment or whatever the hell you want to call it. And I'm not trying to go on this like spiritual quest right now here in this video. But if there's legitimacy to any of the deeper realms of thought about spirituality or any of that stuff, um, doing all this stupid gibberish into the camera and stuff, that ain't it, dude. Oh yeah, that's a real good substitute for doing the hard work that it takes to confront your inner demons and grow emotionally and spiritually. Don't do that, just go chicky chaka chicka chaka chicka chaka, right? Sometimes people feel powerless and helpless in the world, so they will adhere to an ideology that attempts to explain all of this stuff. Human beings are so desperate for answers that they will cling to answers even if they don't make any damn sense. Basically, we're all floating on a boat in the middle of the ocean. None of us know how this boat came to be or how we got here, but occasionally a man from the back will come to the front of the boat and say, hey everyone, I know how this boat got here and I know where it's going, but the truth of the matter is none of us know how this boat got here or where it's going. Anchoring you in the original timelines of Source. Yep, this was a good substitute for actually taking my personal inventory and growing as a human being. This fixed my marriage. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so now that she spit a bunch of gibberish that literally means nothing right into my face, I am enlightened. Didn't have to do any actual work on my part or grow as a human being at all. Thank you. Now we're going to take a look at somebody else speaking some light language again. I included this person in a video previously because I used to randomly include clips of the star seeds in my fat acceptance videos, but people would get confused and annoyed when I did that. So now we can watch them on this channel. I bet after listening to this, you'll feel tingles in your body. Listen and let me know. Okay. Please, 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 please. 
This is light language activation. All right, I'll tell you if I feel tingles in my body. Am I going to have to crank the volume up on this sucker? Let's go. The neighbors are going to be so confused right now, bro. Light language is an energetic communication that speaks directly to your soul. Why are we calling it light language? It's just gibberish. You're speaking in tongues. It's audible. It's not visual. This isn't light. This is sounds that are perceived by vibrations in your inner ear, my friend. <laughs> As your higher self receives light language, it integrates it into your bodies. I'm not a huge fan of that. Hence the tingles. Uh, I want to see a video of somebody blasting this through their stereo as they drive through a neighborhood, right? Like, <laughs> Imagine blasting this all through the night. Your neighbors are like, what the f is going on over there? Oh my God. He used to listen to gangster rap and that was really annoying because of all the bass, but this is confusing and 10 times scarier. You may also feel energy moving in the body or emotions coming up. Um, no, no, I don't feel anything. But a lot of these videos are like this. It'll be somebody speaking gibberish and then the text on the screen will be like, you may start to feel a tingling in your pancreas. That's because your soul is from Orion. And you're like, what? Are you sure it wasn't that burrito that I ate? <laughs> you sure that isn't that indigestion? I may feel emotions coming up. Oh yeah, dude, I got all kinds of, uh, what do you call it? Um, feelings and shit all, all up in here, bro. <laughs> it says, did you feel the tingles? Leave a comment. And then at the bottom <laughs> it says, listen as many times as you need. I might have to put this on loop and listen to it like 20 times in a row to get my head straight. You can go ahead and save this video uh, and go listen to that as many times as you need. One time might not have been enough to clear out all the spiritual blockages uh, or something. Now we're going to be... <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? All right, now we're going to be taking a look at another clip. This time this chick is speaking light language right to my face and it's very beautiful indeed. Light language transmission. Divine feminine healing. Honestly, I could go for some divine feminine healing right now. Um, it says, stay if you feel called to. I will firmly plant my buttocks upon this couch. Go. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're doing one of those things where you do a bunch of gibberish and then you put all these deep words on the screen. Okay, so the sounds that you're making literally translates to this. You truly are a powerful being. You will no longer settle for less than what you are worth. You will no longer answer to foul names. Okay, you're projecting your own personal stuff on here. I'm sorry if your boyfriend has been mistreating you. You will no longer answer to foul names. You will no longer submit from fear. May you fully embrace the goddess you truly are. Oh, it's about time I embrace the goddess within. You know, I've been saying that for years. Oh my God. <laughs> How is this so pretentious and silly? At the same time, bro. All right, and all those sounds translate to this. Your body is a sacred space. You hold a strong portal to the spiritual realm. Simply tap into the darkness that is the womb to feel the all that is. What? What? You are a priestess. You know it. You know it. You are a medicine woman. You are a healer. You are a creator. You are a sensual and passionate being. You exude a golden glow of unconditional love. 
I am somewhat of a priestess and a medicine woman, if I'm being real. You know, I don't mean to brag a little bit, uh, a little bit deeper than the rest of you plebs. My friends have been telling me, bruh, you're such a medicine woman for years, dude, so this makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I find it weird that these noises translate to all that text. That's interesting. What dialect is this? What are you doing with your hands? Tying an invisible tie. But it's like one of those bolo ties that has the strings because her hands are making this kind of thing. Sometimes you have to tie an invisible bolo tie spiritually to grow whoa 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 getting a little low with your hands there oh hey, 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 hey take it easy this is a spiritual thing let's not make this something else keep those hands up high where I can see them mm -hmm. okie doke um, speak your truths tell your story share your wisdom Share your works, your creations, heal your body, and fully reclaim and express your essence. The Divine Mother is protecting you. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. Uh. Oh my god, I can feel myself transcending. Oh. It hurts. I'm not gonna lie, it hurts a lot. It's a, there's a lot of burning sensations. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. In the year of six, we are here to reset and liberate this outdated, abusive, corrupt system. In the year of six? Rise, goddess, rise. I will rise. I am a goddess. Okay. Uh huh. What in the world, bro? Uh. Two plus zero plus two plus two equals six. Okay. And? What, what does that mean? The most spiritual among us wear fake eyelashes. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. Uh, what are you doing? Stop waving your hand all around in my face. It's confusing. All right, so that was very confusing. Let's take a look at some more light language and learn. Incoming transmission. This is going to awaken the force field inside of you. Goo goo gaga. Light language. Energy cleansing. I don't need this. I already have a bidet. Oh, she's throwing up the rock symbol. What, 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 what? All right, Jay-Z is going to come for you, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> this one is annoying right off the bat. Very annoying. Get your hands out of my face. Breathe. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hey, that is how you breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for detailing the steps because I was getting confused inhale hold and then then what oh Exhale. Oh, whew. thank you. I've been messing up that last part for a while What even is this are you gonna tell us what's happening the I need words on the screen telling me that these noises and hand gestures are Unplugging me from the matrix or this is like erasing my soul debt or this is like putting all my soul receipts into a nice file cabinet where I can keep them organized for later. <laughs> You're just going <laughs> a lot of these they make the same dumb sounds over and over. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Why are your eyes rolling back in your head? <laughs> are you guys confused yet? I'm confused. Basically, this whole thing is like a different version of astrology, like I said before. Instead of, I'm a Libra, so therefore X, Y, and Z, it's, my soul is from Lyra, therefore X, Y, and Z. More desperation for humans to feel unique without doing any work to become an interesting or unique human being, right? My personality comes from a lifetime of going through experiences. Some people try to substitute that by just joining some stupid bullshit like this. But it's not interesting. You didn't come up with this. This isn't you. You're just a follower. This one, I don't know. This one is annoying. I, I don't like your hands in my face. She is playing in our faces. That's what I feel like this is. I feel like you're, you're like playing games. And then it says, I love you. May the stars bless you. Okay. And that was the end of that clip. What do you guys think of the star seeds? Is your soul from the Pleiades or from Arcturia? Leave a comment below. <laughs> Let me know if you enjoyed this video about the star seeds because there are literally thousands of other clips and a ton of people are adopting this bizarre ideology and it's hilarious. There are much funnier clips than these two, like the one that I found before about the space whales and all that. <laughs> There's like bird star seeds. There's like cat star seeds. It doesn't make any sense because it's supposed to be a star seed, like you're from another planet, but they're part bird or part cat. Dude, there's a million different variations of this, so let me know if you want to see more. All right, bye.